In this video, I'm going to show you how to clone a WordPress website. Now, what I mean by clone is taking an exact copy of a single website and putting it into another domain. That's what I mean about cloning the exact same thing. Same post, same media, same theme, same everything. So if you want an exact same copy of a WordPress website, this is the video you want to watch. So um, I'm, this is the site that I want to show you first, this, the site that I, I'm going to copy. So, and it's going to, this one, it's saltlake.globeposts.com. And this is just a basic site here that I'm just going to make an exact replica of this site and clone it onto another site. And this is the site. I want to show you this site too, just so that you see it's not there. And it is um, charlotte.globepost.com. And as you can see, there's nothing there. So let's go back and we're going to start on cPanel. Now this will work with any web host that has cPanel and Softaculous web scripts. So if you're web hosting has cPanel and Softaculous web scripts, then you will be fine with this tutorial. This tutorial will work for you. I'm using 5Cloud Host as my hosting provider, but it, I know it will work with Namecheap as well. And um, I'm not sure about other ones, but if you have cPanel and Softaculous, you should be okay. So there's different ways that you can do this. Um, I scroll all the way down and find WordPress under the Softaculous Apps Installer. You could also do Control F and do WordPress. And under Software, WordPress Manager by Softaculous, that's it as well. So I will just scroll down to the bottom and hit on the WordPress icon here, which will then bring me to my WordPress install dashboard. Now I'm going to go here and I'm going to scroll all the way down and this is just a if you don't know what this is this is just a uh, dashboard that shows you all of your uh, wordpress installations all of your wordpress installations for all of your uh, domains that you have i have quite a few of them on this account so i'm going to scroll down and i'm going to find the one that i want to clone which is saltlake.globepost.com and i'm going to over here on the right hand side there's these icons and yours may look a little bit different, um, just a little bit different uh, than this. Um, if it does, you're looking for a button that says clone uh, somewhere in here. Um, I know my one through Namecheap looked a little different. You clicked on it and it had stuff down below. So if you have Namecheap, it's down below under here. But with this, it is this button here that says clone. I'm gonna click on that. And then I'm going to choose the installation URL. So I'm going to click this drop down box and I'm going to look for charlotte.globebose.com. And now, before you do this part, you have to, of course, make sure that your domain is added and that you have an SSL certificate installed if you are wanting to have an SSL certificate in there if you want it HTTPS. Okay, so um, I've selected what which domain that I want it to go to and um, I can click um, disable search engine visibility if I want and change the site name so I'm going to change the site name to um, Charlotte News Posts now I'm going to just keep everything the same there's nothing just shows me a little bit of info here I'm not going to change anything I'm just going to clone click the clone installation and it's going to and it's going to clone it it's actually going to take the files and reproduce it replicate it this will clone the username and password that you're using on the original site that you're wanting to clone so I want to make that clear you need to uh, get it get into it with the WordPress username and password that you're using so you this will not let you set another password. You'll use your existing password that you used previously on your cloned one. Okay, so it says it's been successful. The installation was successful. So let's go back here where charlotte.globepost.com where the site, nothing's on it, will refresh it. And there it is, Charlotte News Posts. 
Now let me go back to the original, which was saltlake.globeposts, and there it is. The only thing that changed, only thing that changed was the title here. And that's because I put the new I put a new title in. It just changed the title, and that's the only thing that changed here. So I hope you found this video helpful to you. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.